Now he seems like a fucking moron. How's that feel to get wrecked? Out of curiosity. The fact that you actually tried to create a fucking account for that, which is hilarious, by the way, hell. Yes, I know who you are. You couldn't be more obvious with your ass hurtery. By the way, it's been six months. You realize that for half a year you've been obsessing over me. Half a year, bro. You need some serious, serious outside time. Would you like a hooker? We can buy you a hooker. You obviously need to fuck something. So, like, for real. I know mom's turning it down and your cousin's just like, well, shit, even she's too ugly for you. And I know that's saying something, but, you know. If you need a hooker, man, we can do a fundraiser for you if you're that ass hurt about the fact that we made like $100 an hour over the last one. We can get you $100 in an hour to go fuck something. All you gotta do is ask like a nice little boy. We'll try. It's the least we can do for the litter box. I mean, come on. Like I said, you've been here for the last six months. You're basically a fucking founding member of it at this point, so... You want a hooker, bro? Offer's on the table. Try manning up. He won't. He'll just keep bitching out and doing the same shit. He gets his jollies off of thinking that he's getting enough attention from that, which apparently he is, which is really weird that, again, that you want attention from a 35-year-old dude. Think about that. Um, by the way, every picture he has is either of me or of Kobe Bryant. So, a rapist and a guy on Twitch TV. What? Just saying, your choice of people that you seem to be obsessed with. You have a rapist and a guy that plays video games on Twitch for a living. A rapist and a guy that plays video games on Twitch for a living. Get out the house more, bro. Really, you, you're you really showing how fucking sheltered you are. Like, get out the house more, brother. And again, we'll try to help that for you. We can schedule an hour with a hooker for you. Sorry, that's cool. I'm sorry. Don't want to misname her, or misname him. Really, Tabitha? Oh. Oh, God. There is kitten death. Oh, 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 God. I can smell it through the plug nose. Oh. 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 Yeah, you. You let loose a fucking ass bomb, cat. Oh my god, that fart. Oh. I'm not kidding, you guys. It is fucking horrible kitten death stench in here right now. Oh. God. I need breath mints to cover this. <laughs> oh my god. God. She got her booster shot today, and I was warned about this. And I'm not sure how this is the case, and I'm sorry that I'm plugging my nose. I'll try to move closer to the microphone to, to cover this. Whew! Oh my god. Jesus. Your ass produces smells that could kill an army. I, I'm serious. They could chemicalize your ass smell and kill entire armies with fear. Holy shit. This smell. <sighs> Literally. This fucking smell. Oh. <sighs> See what I mean by the fact that he puts Lawson Cat at the end of it? Hi, hell, Brian. Remember what I said about you being obsessed with a 35 year old guy on, on Twitch that broadcasts video games and a rapist? I want to choose your heroes a little bit better on that one. Just saying. Your obsession with me is really fucking, really creepy, bro. Like, it's not even, like, that I'm scared of you in any way, shape, or form. It's that you creep me out because you obviously are a middle-aged dude who is really ass hurt about me actually doing this for a living. And for the last half a fucking year has been doing this. Half a year, dude. What have you gotten out of this? What do you gain? 
Seriously, answer my question. Fucking man up, answer my question right now. Just to prove how big of a fucking human being you are and how much better than me you are, let's have a conversation. You can destroy me right now with logic. Go right ahead. What's your reasoning? What do you gain from this? Does anyone even know who he is? Show of hands. Anyone even know who he is? Does anyone know who he is? And Hostium, do you not think that you're still talking about this right now, too? Pot calling the kettle black, Jagoff. Now you can't talk. Amazing how that works, isn't it? 